Good morning, lovely people. How's everybody doing today? Hope you're doing well. We're going on a little walk with Danny again. Hello. Starting off at the, what was it, the Eagle Bridge? Yes. Well, it used to be a bridge once upon a time. We were just talking about it. It's not yeah. a bridge, it's a crossroad cross or something, road. yeah. If you consider the canal, maybe it's a bridge, but... Yeah, exactly. So yeah, we're starting off here today. We're going to do a little round walk. Uh, go through the Polygraph building. And then onto the Serdica Mall. And then we're going to be walking around back to the canal, but from another direction. And back to this place. Or somewhere around here. Yes. We'll make a circle. Yeah, more or less. And this is Borisova Garden. Yeah. Let's move back a little bit so we don't yes, get run, yes. run over. So yeah, guys, let us know what you've been up to in the comments. We've been away for a little bit as well. I think about three weeks since we out uploaded last. Quite a while. Yeah, quite a while. Uh, we've been very busy with personal stuff in real life, so we didn't have any time to actually film. <laughs> for the YouTube life. Yeah, for the YouTube life, exactly. Uh, we're not going to go down here. I think we're going to go up this way. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so basically, so far, uh, Danny got a promotion at her job. So, congratulations to her. Yeah, congratulations to me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm starting a new job on Monday, which is fantastic. In a lovely, lovely company. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So, not much time to actually. Do film videos. anything yeah and go for a walk yeah busy climbing the corporate ladder yeah yeah exactly <laughs> ah. but yeah we will definitely be starting to do walks again every weekend yeah we need to be more consistent yeah exactly uh i'm changing the upload time so it's gonna be every sunday and wednesday that we're gonna be put out videos because we're gonna be filming on a saturday most likely and I'll try to do uh, one week a month will be videos from a different city. Yes. So we just take up to a trip and take a trip somewhere to a different city in Bulgaria, film there. And then once a week you have that to see. You can tell us in the comments which city you would like to see. Yeah. So we have some directions. Yesterday, a colleague of mine suggested Gabrovo. She is from Gabrovo. And she said that there's some pretty amazing things there. Yeah? I'm not I've sure, never been, to be so honest. I, no I think there's a crafts area. I'm not sure if it's, that's the proper term, but uh, Etara, if you're familiar with it. No idea. Yeah. I've heard it, but I have no idea what it is. I'm not familiar, familiar with anything in Bulgaria. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I've been to more countries uh, than cities in Bulgaria. So yeah, let's see which way we're we going to carry on. Maybe reach the Polygraph building and then turn left okay. down there. <laughs> Go to Ivana Sent Street from there. After that, yes. Mm -hmm. So yeah, guys, oh, another thing I want to mention, I'm going to leave a limp link in the description. Uh, I created a history channel. Oh, yes. Which is basically AI generated history of the whole world. So basically I'm doing each country of the world. Then I'll be doing all the famous people and all the wars and battles of every single country in the world. Uh, videos come out every 48 hours at 2 p.m. Bulgarian time, which is EECT time, 2 p.m. Uh, and yeah, they're about three minutes long, each one of them. Actually, the hashtag is uh, history in three minutes. 
Yes. So yeah, if you want to check that out, make sure you subscribe and like it. Because obviously I'm trying to grow the channel. And I think I have about 13 subscribers so far. Which is not a lot. <laughs> yeah, and to be honest, some of the history channels, channels are, mm, not to say boring, but pretty <laughs> long and... Uh, yeah, it's in depth. Uh, yeah, yeah. If you want to learn something like properly, properly, yeah. Mm -hmm. Our channel is more like uh, An overview. trivia. Yes, yes. Trivia. So if you want to go like on a show like who wants to be a millionaire or something, whatever <laughs> show you have, game show on TV at your country, and you want to learn some interesting facts, uh, I think my channel will definitely help you out because it basically condenses the whole history in three minutes. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, it's just an overview in general. Where should we? Let's see, this way? Turn. No, not this way yet. Hmm. Luckily, it's not that hot. It's and actually very sunny, but it's about maybe 15, 16 degrees Celsius. And this is my favorite weather. Yeah. Well, mine not so favorite because the sun makes it kind of hot and then you're sweating and it's actually cold. <laughs> so it's a, it's a weird mix of hot and cold. <clears throat> And on our right, it's Tsarigradsko Chaussee. Yeah, this is Tsarigradsko Motorway, we yeah. could say that. And it leads all the way. And look at this piano. And we have an old piano, which somebody turned into a flower pot. <laughs> Interesting. That's cute. And I think we're almost at the polygraphy building. The next block. block well, block, I think block, more than the next yeah. street. Don't think it's the next one, it's maybe the one after. <laughs> so yeah, again, it's, it's finally nice to actually go out filming and walking again. Yeah, I, I was uh, looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah, me too. <clears throat> I actually missed it, walking yeah, around the city. Yeah, and yeah. Not the filming part that much, but just having a conversation. <laughs> exactly. But still. Oh, interesting building. Nice, but somebody left it over. Let's see. A old house. But obviously it's falling apart and nobody's taking care of it. Oh. Like a lot of the houses in the center. Yeah, it's pretty sad. And a house like this probably costs like a million, two million, easily. It's actually very big. Yeah, Have a look from the side. But it's probably got at least uh, 10 rooms. But how much you have to invest to renovate it? Uh, probably a lot. Mm. Yeah, it's a pity. some shade hopefully the microphones are not picking up the sound that much from the motorway but I think that it, whatever it should be good the last time we walked next to Vasilevsky Boulevard it was the same situation yeah and it was okay and the, yeah and the sound was okay Okay, I think this is the road. Yeah. Yeah. So guys, this is the polygraphy building. This building right here. It's actually an old printing press from 1954. Is it still functioning? No, of course not. It's a business... Building, yeah. It's a business building, yeah. This is the old part of it. <laughs> and this is the new part that they built on. Uh, and it's the polygraphy business center, basically. Mm -hmm. I used to work in this place a long time ago, in this building. It's a nice building. And this restaurant is still open, I see. It was pretty okay. We used to have lunch here. <laughs> Wasn't it way too expensive? No, not that expensive. Compared mm. to now, no. Uh, KFC okay. is more expensive than uh, 
this. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, a paradox. How come a junk food is more expensive than... This is only in Bulgaria. Yeah, only in, in Bulgaria. In other countries, yeah. Guys, if you come to Bulgaria, it's actually more expensive to eat in McDonald's or KFC or Burger King than actually sitting down in a normal restaurant and having some actually good food. I don't think, let me know if it's the same in your country, if junk food is more expensive than a nice restaurant. But I think that people also think of junk food as a treat. And yeah. They, they expect it to be expensive, maybe. In Bulgaria, maybe. Again, I don't think people in other countries see McDonald's as a treat. I maybe know. a treat as junk food, but not as a treat that it should be expensive. For example, when I was a kid in my town, there was there was no McDonald's or KFC. And when I came into Sofia, I was like, oh my God. Yeah, yeah. McDonald's. Wow. Yeah, but because Bulgaria is like 60, 70 years behind <laughs> yeah. everywhere else. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's maybe the, it's good. It's I, I, I think, it, no, no, I think it's a good thing. It's a good People thing. People actually eating more healthy food for a longer time than other countries. Mm -hmm. If you compare it to like the US or like UK, they've been eating yeah, they have junk food for a long there. time and they're, most of them are obese. Mm -hmm. Not most of them, but as far as I know, they have statistically like 50 or 60 percent of the population are overweight. Yes, that's not good. It's very not good. <laughs> you strain your healthcare system because people get sick a lot. Mm -hmm. They get cancer, they get diabetes, they get everything. Yep. And yeah, we have some... We need to cross. Red and white tape here, so probably something's falling from the roof or the terrace somewhere. So, we're gonna go around. Now the building must be quite old. Not really, probably seven years old or eight years old. This is happening quite often. Yeah, because nobody looks after the buildings. Mm -hmm. Are we on uh, yeah, Ivan Asen? Yes, this is Ivan Asen. Mm -hmm. Is it street? Yeah, it's a street. It's, it's not a, a street. boulevard, yeah. Yes. And Ivan Asen was a Tsar. Yes. In, in Bulgarian medieval times. Yeah, we've walked down this road before, but we haven't spoken on the videos. Maybe cross on the other side mm -hmm. and go down the small roads. Okay. Because that way it's just boring, just walking straight. Yeah. It's boring for me, let alone for somebody else watching. Mm -hmm. What do you think, guys? Are you bored from watching just uh, walking down a straight road for 10 minutes? Okay, go. Let's see where this road is going to take us. I've never been down this small roads before, by the way. Me too. No idea where they lead. Just, yeah, because there's probably going to be dogs, so I'm just I'm <laughs> yeah. moving. I don't want some dog to Beware. jump out at me and scare me. Ooh, look at this house. Which house? The this brick one. house, yeah. That's new, yeah. Yeah. It's a complex, it's not a house. It's, uh, oh. <laughs> there's probably like three, three families living here. Oh, it's very pretty. And guys, another interesting thing. Yesterday we were looking at prices, house prices in Plovdiv and which is compared to Sofia obviously which is the second biggest city in Bulgaria and what we noticed is let's say for a hundred square meter apartment the price is half the price of an apartment here in Sofia it doesn't matter of the area in Sofia it could be let's say in the center or in one of the normal uh, neighborhoods and it's half the price so let's say in Sofia 100 square meters will cost you, apartment of course, will cost you around, what was it? Uh, 360,000 leva. Mm -hmm. And in Plovdiv it's 180,000. Half? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, it's a huge difference in price. And, and the, the issue here is that... And again, 360,000 is like the 
normal lower end prices. In certain areas, it's going to cost you half a million, a million. Yeah, and they and they keep building, and the buildings stay empty. I mean, nobody yeah, buys the... Yeah, the apartment blocks are empty. Yeah, nobody buys the apartments. And they fall apart very quickly, like the building materials <coughs> are... It seems very, 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 very cheap. I'll sound like the uh, Trump, maybe. <laughs> many, 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 <laughs> many, many. <laughs> Billions and billions, billions and billions. Billions and billions and billions. Yeah, they built a block right in front of us. Like last year, they finished it off. And already the outer, what is it called? Like the... No, I was just thinking the same thing. The paint, let's say. Yeah, the paint or the... No idea what it's called, yeah. It's just fallen, fallen off. A year later. Yeah, exactly. Which is quite bad. Being a new building, a year old, already the outer wall paint is peeling off. It's, I don't think that's normal. And it hasn't even rained, so you can't blame the weather for it. Yeah. So I imagine in winter, I imagine in winter mm -hmm. when it starts snowing and it's really cold and raining, probably the whole blocks paint is gonna fall off. And imagine paying half a million level for an apartment and then your apartment block looks like it's from a Pink. third world you'll ghetto. Be, you'll be paying it for the next 30 years. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, most people buy on a mortgage, yeah. So, yeah, the situation is not good. Yeah, house prices in Bulgaria are too expensive. They shouldn't be this expensive. What is all this? There's like a rocket. Can you see there's rockets over there? Rockets? Oh, yeah, yeah. Rockets, rockets. Oh, yes. But I can't see it because these people are... I have no idea what this place is. It's a Windbed Sports Event Center. Solar panels <laughs> all the way. Windbed Sports Center. But why the rockets and everything? We'll see. Let's walk down here. Maybe it's right at the bottom somewhere. So maybe it's some kind of museum or something which we've never heard about. There's so many things we haven't visited and checked, <laughs> so no wonder. Yeah, exactly. And again, the evergreen topic, dog poo everywhere. <laughs> yeah. I think in the center there's more than in the areas because a lot of people have dogs in the center. And they don't clean up after the dogs. I think we should introduce a law in Bulgaria. If you don't clean up your dog poo, five years in prison, in solitary confinement. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> and you're gonna be let out every Saturday and Sunday to clean dog poo from the streets. Uh. I think that's good enough. Or your other choices, don't buy a dog. Yeah, Simple fair enough. stuff. Yeah, you need to care, uh, you need to take care of the animal. But not just the animal, you can't let your animal basically take a poo in the road, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. So yeah, this is where the rockets are. Oh, this is some kind of a museum. Uh-huh. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> okay. Let's check it out. What is this? Hopefully this let us in. So guys, I don't know if you can see through the fence. That's just, I'm gonna come closer. There's like all kinds of, kind of older military installations. Nice, okay, let's try and go inside and see if we can actually, can it's probably paid, out. but still, let's see. Maybe you can sneak in. If we have to pay, we're not gonna go in. Yeah. I'll just film it like this. Yeah, sadly, guys, everything in Bulgaria is paid. You have to pay for everything. Like, for me, this kind of thing, like just looking at some old military weapons and stuff like that, that should be free. You should be able to walk around, have a look. Uh, yeah, oh, and there's an old aircraft, a fighter aircraft. Can you guys see it? There we go. A German one. Is that German? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is a German one. There's a German, a German one. flag. Interesting, okay. 
Let's carry on. Again, this is not an educational channel. <laughs> we discover things <laughs> with you as well. Okay. National, okay, National Military Museum. National Museum, Museum of Military of History. Military yeah. History. Okay, I think we can go in. Yeah, Ooh. I think it's free. Perfect. Amazing. So, what does it say here? Smoking in the museum is not allowed. Okay, that's okay. And no dogs. And no dogs. I don't see any dogs. No ice cream and no bikes. Nice. Pretty cool. I've never been here myself. So it's pretty cool. <laughs> you got very excited. <laughs> very sweet. No, I'm excited because I actually found something I had yeah. no idea existed. Mm -hmm. I knew there was a museum of military history, but I had no idea where it was. Didn't so we have all these. Yet. Let's see, the, look at the aircraft. I want to see the tanks. So this isn't one of the aircraft. Yeah, this is a German one. Let's see what model it is. So it's a Tornado GR-1B M1978. Multi-road combat aircraft since 1990 in service with the Deutsche Luftwaffe, the Royal Air Force, the Italian Air Force, and the Air Force of the United Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Interesting. Mm. So it's been used quite by a few armies. And what is this? This is a, I think it's a Bulgarian type of aircraft, maybe. Let's have a look. And we have a Trabant, oh. NATO 2004. <laughs> but this is not a military vehicle. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it was, who knows. Maybe. The NATO Secret Service used to use it probably. <laughs> <laughs> so they can act in inconspicuous and look like Russians. <laughs> yeah. These are pretty cool. And let's have a look at this. Okay, Aircraft so this is a Russian MiG one, yeah. MiG-23 UB. Training uh, <coughs> combat fighter produced in the service in the Bulgarian army since 1976. Produced in USSR. Nice. Very cool. Let's go around and have a look at the tanks. There's quite a few tanks here. I'd like to own a tank. Yeah, me too. I would like to have some of these as well. <laughs> and live in, or live on a hill. So if somebody's coming yeah. at me, I'll just completely <laughs> You'll be decimate them. <clears throat> so Tank. this is the T-55 AM 1983. Uh, main battle tank produced in service with the Bulgarian army since 1985, produced in USSR. Nice. These are the guns are not that interesting, so. Well, let's have guns. a look at the tanks, yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is the T-34. Again produced in the USSR and in service in the Bulgarian army since 1945 until 1982. Pretty cool. Oh, there's a lot of cod webs. Okay. I think one of them let's went out my back. nose. Yeah. Let's have a look at the next one. This is... Tank T... Oi. This is the T-3485, produced in USSR, again used in Bulgarian army since 45 until 82. Cool. For five people. Yeah, it's a five-person crew. It's a five-person crew. Well, there's a lot of tanks here. So, as everybody can guess, we've been using mainly, let's have a look at these guns as well. We've been using mainly Russian technology. Apart from these, these look like German, yeah. This is the Howitzer D30. Krupp. Krupp, uh, produced in Germany and in service in Bulgaria from 1939 to 1943, obviously, because we're on the side of yeah, the Germans. Yeah, yeah in the Second World War, in the beginning. And again, yeah, 1939, 1944, Germany, the K-18, Krupp. So, 
these are inactive, but can they be active again? I mean, if with no, the I think proper maintenance or I, no, they've probably removed the main. Oh, this is a big one. <laughs> yeah. It's a big boy, coastal artillery coastal. gun D40 Ooh. Krupp on land gun carrier and produced in Germany, used in the First World War, 1915, mm. 1918. Cool. Yeah, and guys in the First World War, we are also on the side of the Germans. Yeah. So pretty much Bulgaria has always been, if there's a world war, Bulgaria is always going to be on the side of Germany, <laughs> just so everybody knows. At first. At first, yeah, we always, we love the Germans. <laughs> and this is the hot chickis, chickis, okay, the hot chickis produced in France and we used in the Bulgarian chickis. army in 1943 and 1947. It's a two-person two, yeah, vehicle, yeah. yeah. Two-person vehicle. Let's check out the panzers. Where's Where the are panzer? the German tanks? I, I don't think we, we used panzers. I saw one in the back. Yeah? Yeah. Let's have a look. Panzer. What about this one? This is the JM. Oh, this is a panzer. Produced in Germany. Yeah, this is the Panzer, uh, in the, used in the Bulgarian army from 1943 1947. Five person tank. Massive. Nice. Yeah, it's huge. Yeah. Okay, let's carry on and see what we have here. Oh, interesting walk. So, yeah, a little yeah, bit of yeah. history. <laughs> we stumbled across Even for myself. a military park. <laughs> A museum, museum. Museum, yes, not Sorry. a park. Maybach. This is a assault gun. Yard Panzer assault gun, yeah. Produced in Germany, based on the main bat battle tank Maybach. Okay, used in Bulgaria, 1943, 1947, a four-person tank. Very cool. I don't even know the, the tanks we use nowadays. I think they're still maybe Russian or American. Maybe the, I think they're replacing them with like NATO have kind no of weapons, idea. which means American weapons. Mm -hmm. uh, again, based on the Maybach assault gun T3. Sturm Geschütz. 1943, 1947. I Pretty like cool. this one. This one. Yes. This one looks kind of mm -hmm. rusty. <laughs> no. Okay. Is it all from like the Second World War or after that? A German. Again. Four person. Nice. So it looks like Second World War, most of the tanks that we were using. Uh, and what is this? This is the tank retriever TV-62. Uh, produced in Bulgaria. Okay. Yeah. This is a... Vehicle for recovery and evacuation. This is this, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. Right, so we're gonna maybe finish off here from the park because it's more or less everything's exactly the same. Mm -hmm. And carry on onto the main actual quest. <laughs> yeah, main quest, which is go to the mall and then carry on down to the canal and back this to was, where we started. This was the side quest. Obviously, guys, the camera overheated, so yeah, we had a <laughs> short intermission. But I guess, can we actually go? Yeah. yeah, we can actually exit here. Perfect. So yeah, guys, my advice is if you're doing walking videos, do not buy a GoPro. Yeah, you better go with the DJI. Well, we don't know that because we haven't tried it. So I don't want to say that. Okay, okay. But yeah, if you live in a hot place, yeah, GoPro is not it. So let's see, carry on down here. And I think actually before we get to the mall, we're gonna reach the uh, military police or some kind of police building this somewhere down here at the bottom, almost. I'm not sure. Or I think it's the secret service building or the dance building. Yeah, I think it's the dance building. I have no idea. No, it's right we'll next see. to the mall, so yeah. Okay, yeah, let's see. There's shade here, so good for the camera. Yeah.
What else? What else? Can I say? Nothing much. This is an interesting building. I don't know what this is. I think this is maybe part of the. I think it's part of the museum. Museum, yes. And on this side, we just have uh, little apartment blocks, old ones. We're in the center, but uh, I think we're in Oborište. Yeah, something like mm -hmm. that. I think it's Oborište, like the area. Oborište. Which Tran means... Uh, translating to... Um, It's where the sheep live. Mm-hmm, and the cows. Uh. <laughs> yeah. But I think sheep mainly. Mainly it is a borishta. No, I think it's mainly... Cows? Cows. Okay, so we have areas, yeah, in Sofia which are named after... <laughs> I guess a lot of cattle used to live here before. Not exactly sure, so any Bulgarians watching this, don't get offended if you're from this area. Oh, and there we have the more complexes, like... But I don't think this part is... Wow. The... Yeah, like rocket stuff here. We have rockets. But another thing that's uh, making me a bit upset is the sidewalk. Because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm trying to look forward and the sidewalk is completely... Crooked. Yeah, crooked, destroyed from the roots of the trees. And if you're not watching where you're stepping, you might fall over. Yeah, it's just terrible. The new mayor will fix that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe when I'm uh, 650 years old. <laughs> Yeah, guys, I just want to say something funny. I'm almost 35. I'm going to be 35 in a month. And since I was born, it's like in Bulgaria, because obviously I was born a year before communism fell in Bulgaria. Uh, communism fell in 1989. I'm born in 1988. And basically since I've been a kid and everybody else my age, all the old people are always like, yeah, we're going to live in a new country. It's going to be good. It's democracy. Uh, everything's gonna be fixed and what I can say is actually everything's gone downhill like Infrastructure is terrible uh, Every mayor or politician that wins they always promise something they never do it And yeah, that's pretty much it in Bulgaria and it's funny people forget in Bulgaria I think they're not obviously I don't offend Bulgarians. I'm Bulgarian, but I don't think we're the most intelligent people on earth because we elect the same people over and over again. So yeah, yeah it's kind of the funny. With hopes that this will be yeah. the new savior. Let's uh, not talk uh, yeah. about this. Yeah, yeah. It's... Uh, yeah, I don't care personally about politics at all. My advice to every, every young person in the world, do your own thing. Don't care about politics. Yeah, make money, that's it, pretty much. Yes. And the mall is on the right or on the left? On the right, and this is the building I'm talking about. Aha. Uh -huh. This one here. So I think this is the... Well, let's see. I think it's the... There should be a sign. Oh. Dance building, which is like the secret service in Bulgaria. Let's see. I don't even know what it stands for, but yeah, we'll see. Aha, uh -huh. okay, so this no. is the... It's the... Uh, Sofia... Uh, court, some kind of court. I think this is where you come to, if you've already put it, been put in prison, and you want to appeal, this mm -hmm. is like the appeals court. Yes. The Sofia appeal court, yeah, that's it pretty much. That's exactly what it is, the Sofia appeals court. Then we have a pizzeria here, Pizzeria Victoria. Yeah, the, these restaurants are good. Yeah, Victoria are quite good, they make good pizzas.
And then I think, uh, guys, we're gonna skip the actual go into the actual mall because it's it's not that interesting. Yeah. Uh, basically, the mall is on our right. If you go down this road for about 50 meters, you're gonna get to the mall, which is the Serica Mall. But I think we're just gonna carry on down this way. And by the way, this is like kind of an exp expensive area to live. Mm -hmm. But all the blocks look horrible. They're old. But, you but know, again, it's right next to the center, so that's why it's probably the expensive. The thing here is that it looks awful on the outside, but... Yeah, on the inside, it probably looks good. On the inside, good. it's renovated. Yeah. This is a balcony. thing. Yeah, on the outside, <laughs> it looks bad. On the inside, it might be like a palace. Yeah. <laughs> Over such <a> teams. <laughs> and a lot of parents with kids here as well. Everywhere. But it is a Saturday, so mm -hmm. that's pretty much normal. I'm glad I didn't put on the hoodie. Yeah. It's getting warmer. Oh, they said it's gonna be like 25, obviously 25 in the sun. Mm -hmm. But which is pretty, pretty warm. For October. Yeah, mid-October at that. Mm -hmm. It's not even like the beginning of October. This is Cherkovna Street. Which one? The one no. that we're on? Yes. Uh-huh, okay. And what about the one we're gonna turn in now? So guys, also you can turn right here and go to the mall. Or, and we're gonna be turning left down here so we can go back to the canal and back to maybe Sofia University and the Eagles Bridge. And this street is a Borishta Street. It's very, yeah, it's got shade, thick shade yeah, here. Yeah. No I like sun. this street. I don't like this street because I've actually walked here like at six o'clock in the morning. Oh, Not yeah, six o'clock yeah. in the morning, five o'clock in the morning on minus 20 degrees. Bad memories here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I used to work up there. No, I like it because there are cute shops. Yeah. Local shops. And it's shady. It has big trees. Yeah, there's a lot of shops of everything, selling fruits and veg, cheeses, mm -hmm. fruit. Well, I already said fruits, but yeah, <laughs> washing up stuff, electronics. The, the small businesses. Yeah. Yeah, mostly, most of the people that have shops here actually live here in this area. I'm presu I presume. Maybe not. <laughs> most. Dropped the bottle. Dropped it? I almost did. Ah, almost. But you know, I have cat reflexes. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so guys, go make sure you check out my history channel. I'm going to leave a link in the description. Support it. I think it's gonna be like an evergreen channel. I don't know if you guys know what that is. An evergreen channel is something that just brings in money. Uh, and it's something, it's like a niche, a big niche that everybody watches. So like a lot of people watch history stuff, a lot of people watch music stuff, a lot of people watch DIY stuff, a lot of people watch like how-to videos. So yeah, history is one of the niches that everybody watches. Because it's never changing. Exactly, yeah. History is not gonna change tomorrow. And I think it's pretty interesting. I actually learned quite a lot from the videos that I made so far. Which countries did you cover? Uh, well, we've got 10 countries so far. We've got Germany, China, US. Russia, US, India, South Africa, Denmark. Brazil. Brazil, yeah. And uh, I think Nigeria is coming out today mm -hmm. at 2 o'clock. 
So yeah, guys, every two days, well, not every 48 hours, I mean, so every other day, there's a new video coming out. And again, it's only three minutes long. You know, it's not gonna take out too much of your time to watch it, and I think you will learn something. That is if you want to learn something, of course. <laughs> Not all people want to learn things, yeah, of course. Who's shouting behind us? I don't know, but my observations are that people are slowly becoming mentally ill. <laughs> I think they're already mentally ill, most of them. And they look, everybody's old, by the way. Do you notice, like, it's, what time is it right now? It's 12. 12.30. Yeah, 12.30. 12.30, and I think I've seen maybe one young person. Remember, it's Saturday, and on Friday evening, all the yeah. <laughs> yeah, younger people Yeah, they're probably all drunk right smashed. now. <laughs> so. Yeah, they probably all have hangovers right now. Oh, it's spooky season. <laughs> oh yeah, it was, uh, it was Friday the 13th yesterday. Yeah. So probably everybody went to like a <laughs> Satanist party or something. <laughs> Some ritual. <laughs> Hope not. Friday the 13th. I need, I need to figure out where that came from. Like why did Friday the 13th become like a like a bad day or something. I'm sure something happened. I think it's mostly related, uh, it, it's, it's an unlucky day. But I think it's something very new. I think it's something that maybe came out in the last 50 years or something. Well, I don't probably. think it's, I, as far as I know, it's not part of religion. So which way should we go? Left mm. here? So guys, this is the canal right in front of us. And yeah, we're gonna turn left here. Maybe we can go into the military park. This is the military park. Or not. Well, no, there's no, nothing no. really inside, actually. Yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. you're right. There's this a school is here. The Spanish. The Spanish school. High school. Yeah. What Miguel that means is, Cervantes. it's not actually Spanish, of course. Mm -hmm. It's a Bulgarian school. But they. Uh, teach Spanish in the school. Intensive. Intensive Spanish, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have a few schools that uh, focus on English, we have a few that focus on German, and we have a few that specialize in uh, Spanish. And we have that in other cities as well. In Pleven they have like a German... It, it's not German, it's a foreign language high school. Ah, okay. Foreign. Where you but you learn a foreign language in every high school. But not y that yes, much. Yes, but not that much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For example, in my school we had... Uh, let's say twice the amount of uh, classes in English or German or Spanish, uh -huh. Russian. Got it. And you also uh, learn, let's say, history or biology in the respective language. Aha. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I see. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. What's the other? What is go? This guy's go. Obey. Obey. With a little baby. And this is the military park, and it looks completely overgrown. Completely, completely. There used to be a. Um... So I'm sure there's a, like a lot of ticks, probably. Even though it's not that hot anymore, but yeah, still. <laughs> Let's hope there are no snakes. Oh, snakes for sure. Or uh, other reptiles. Like dragons. <laughs> no, but uh, there was a um, dinosaur team during the summer. I'm not sure. There was a what, sorry? Dinosaur team. They were the plastic big dinosaurs, like toys for kids. Uh -huh, I see. They were uh, scattered all over the park. Yeah, they moved them all the time. They used to be in zone B5, and then they moved them somewhere else, and then oh, they moved okay, them here. Okay, so 
Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're rental dinosaurs. No, they're not rental, they're a private company. It's a private company that moves their toys and like so people can come here and I'm sure they sell stuff. So this is the entrance mm -hmm. to the military park and I have oh the first time I see the NATO flag here. This is the, the So this is an academy. academy. Military Academy Arakovsky. National, National Defense, Defense Academy. Academy. Georgi Sava Rakovsky. Cool stuff. Yeah, and the park is open. Oh, so yeah, so this is yeah, also a park, yeah, but see, there's nothing inside. A few mm -hmm. benches, mm -hmm. a little man-made pond, which is empty, of course. So yeah, nothing much, really. <laughs> the dinosaurs left also. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody's broken umbrella. The yellow Interesting. Umbrella. Yellow, orange umbrella. So yeah. Oh, I think we actually did a pretty good walk. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. A bit longer than usual. Mm -hmm. We will do longer walks, obviously, when it gets colder. Was that an electric bike? Some sort of, yeah, electric thing. So at the end of this road, guys, we're actually going to end up at the Eagle Bridge. Again. Yeah, so we did kind of a, a little circle. Okay. If you ever consider buying property... Be careful. Yeah, I am. I saw a that. lot of uh, poop. <laughs> I saw that. Uh, what was I saying? If you're considering buying a property... Uh -huh. In this area, the canal area, you need to be aware of rats yes, and, and mice. big cockroaches. Yes. Yeah. Just a tip. When I first came back to Bulgaria, I actually rented a room from a guy here, a painter, and there was mice in the house. Mm. But yeah, I think it's pretty normal if you're living next to a canal, then yeah, definitely there will be mice. Yes. You can't really do anything. Yeah, I personally wouldn't live here. Definitely not. If you are young and you want to be close, closer no. to the center, no, 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 <laughs> hear me out. <laughs> and you want to be closer to the city center, to the bars or whatever, it would be a nice choice, but with time, uh, you'd prefer uh, the neighborhoods. I wouldn't live here even if I was younger. <laughs> okay, I know. <laughs> you can always get weird. drunk and get a taxi. You know, that's uh, <laughs> pretty easy as well. <laughs> yes. Look at this building, wow. Move back because it's like completely... <laughs> right in the center, look at the way it looks. And I think, I think people still live here, by the way. Uh, people or pigeons? Pigeons and people. <laughs> yeah, on this side somebody lives here. And I lived here, number 64.
a lot of traffic today. I got a bit tired, to be honest. Yeah? Yeah. No, I enjoy walking, but... Yeah, we're gonna go home and edit this and then release it tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. EEST time. But first we'll check out the rolling dogs. Yes, rolling dogs. Yeah. I found a very cool uh, hot dog place, guys. So we're gonna go, after this video's done, we're gonna go check it out with Danny. Get a hot dog, get a beer. And then, you know, Life will be complete. Whatever happens after you eat and take a drink, you have a drink. <laughs> <laughs> you visit, like I call him, Uncle Fester. Ah, do you smell the smell? <laughs> I can smell, yeah, chushki. Mm, wow. Yeah, I love that smell. We can, we can smell. actually, guys, we can smell some uh, baked uh, peppers. peppers. Yeah. Yeah, this is the best smell in the world. Somebody's probably making a uh, lutenica. Lutenica, yeah. Mm. <laughs> okay. Almost there. You wanna, you wanna say something? Cause yeah. I'm tired of talking for a little I'm bit. I'm tired also, I, 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 <laughs> I told Okay, I'll talk then. <laughs> Sorry. Well, guys, we're pretty much at the end. I uh, hope you enjoyed the walk. We're gonna try and do another one during the week so we can release it on the Wednesday. I might do it in the morning because my working time is from 11 a.m. until 8 p.m. So. I'll probably go out and do it by myself. Yeah, so hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Uh, the more you guys subscribe, the more you guys comment, the more it gives me the motivation to actually go out and film new things. Because obviously at the end of the day, I'm doing the content. Obviously, I enjoy walking. I've always walked, but I'm, uh, I'm actually filming it so you guys can enjoy it and you can see what Bulgaria actually looks like. So thank you guys for all the support up till now and see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.